Somewhere in Kudat in a village home, we met with a rumorous fabric weaver who was weaving at the patio. She sat on the floor with her feet against a chair, supported by a backstrap loom as her hands weaved diligently. Her masterpiece spotted the usual black that served as a base for motifs formed by yellow, red and white cotton threads. Black is chosen for Rumu's traditional clothes to signify positive spiritual power. It is believed to protect the wearer from evil spirits. There are four types of motifs in Rumu's woven fabric. Animals, people, weapons and plants. Each tells a story as weaved by its weaver. Mana kamu belajar buat? Mula-mula waktu umur saya baru 12 tahun. Menurut saya buat begini, buat sana. Jadi, aku curi-curi lah. Curi belajar? Ya. Yang sudah dewasa, nah berhenti sudah curi-curi. Sendiri nak buat. We realized that not much equipment is required to weave. She easily rolled up everything to be kept aside whenever she wanted to stop weaving. It takes a month to weave enough fabric to be turned into the traditional rungus attire. Oh hey, Clarissa has put on one. And look at all those beads. The rungus are famous for their beadwork, huh? You mean this? Which one goes well? As you can see just now, I have already wear my skirt. Uh, the skirt we call it as uh, rinu cutting, and then the baju, the long one. This is the, uh, how to say, the 90% complete rumus costume. And this one is usually, um, they wear it during special occasions like weddings, kamata, stuff like that. Oh, 